I want to see more Japanese players play. I want to see if T is still in winner's bracket. Let's find out. I, I, I really want to know. Oh, this is their set count. It seems like QB has won two of the last uh, games or two times. Oh, shots fired too. That was quite a while ago. And KSB 2016. But Wombo, Wombo Wednesday number 21, it looked like. <laughs> <laughs> Wombo Wednesday number 21, it looks like Renai was able to get a game. <laughs> that's a great name. <laughs> that's that's an interesting name of a tournament. Oh, gosh. Whoever named that. But, um, Wombo yeah. Wednesday. All right, I think uh, so T is still in winners, by oh, the way. Oh, wow. Yes, yep. to fight Abadongo. Okay. Plays Abadongo to get into top eight. Wow. Nairo Fatality. Oh, my. That is a run back from Wait. a long time ago. A Link is one set away from getting it into top eight? With Solo Link. This is, this is this is dumb, man. He's already top ten right now. So we've got, let's see, we've got Bayo Sheik. Oh, my God. Nairo Rosa Fatality. Rosa. Uh, Link Mewtwo and <laughs> Falcon ZSS, all in winners. Oh. That's some diversity if I've ever seen it. Sam won with Samus versus Ally. I'm not shocked. I think people think Samus is bad. Samus is not bad. Yeah. That character is so annoying. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen. I'm sorry. He's so annoying. I don't know if you guys have seen Mewtwo King tweet about. He's like, I can't. I literally can't take a game off Salem Samus. <laughs> I can't take a game. And I was sitting here like, you know what? I can't take a game either. All false is Samus. Something's up with this character, and he's gonna prove something. And at Civil War, you see that Mario right there? <laughs> he, got, he probably got dash attack 50 times. Zared could not approach for nothing. I play Johnny Westside a lot, so I, I actually know how to fight Samus. You know how to fight Samus? Yeah, Johnny Westside is uh, he's, he's two scoops member. So. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, props to Johnny Westside. Did he come to this tournament? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I don't know how he did, but he, he was here. <laughs> yeah, well, we got other Samus is proving stuff. It's just so crazy. Look, Civil War, Ally. Wait, hold on. Ally, zero. Both knocked out, not even top eight. Gone. That's just wild. Eliminated. Oh, my goodness. And then we got Renai coming out here. He actually looks pretty similar to Shutong. <laughs> QB. Now this is actually the World Warrior right here. Um, he, I think, is like maybe 32, 33. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know he was that old, actually. Yeah, he's pretty old. He's been playing Brawl for quite some time. Okay. Uh, Meaning Ice Climbers being the best. Uh, the funny thing is he was like the best player in the country, in all of Japan, and potentially the best of the world with Ice Climbers back yeah. in the Brawl days because he would almost never drop grabs. But then... Gambaranai, or now named Renai. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell the story about that again. His original first tag was Gambaranai. He would attend a tournament once every six months and beat QB almost every time with a different character every time back in Brawl. Yep. And then he changed his name to Hayase, confused the whole world for some reason. <laughs> and then he put his name as Renai and main village. I heard it. They're like, this is villager player. People are like saying, this is villager player in Smash 4 who came out of nowhere. And but he didn't come everyone. out of nowhere, dude. Yeah. He's a Brawl legend. Yeah, they're like, his name is Renai. I'm like, Renai? Gone but an eye. I was like, ah, he's back. I was so pumped. I was so pumped to see that. Yeah, it was such a cool thing because, like, everyone was like, ah, whatever. Like, Nairo's going to go over there and bop him. Ally's going to go over there and bop him. And that crew battle, the first time that Renai played them, and he, he was the last person in the crew battle, destroyed both of them. Yes. And then everyone just called him Renai the God after that. <laughs> Very true. And it looks like we're going to be seeing uh, some button checks. Is it, wait, is it true? Because Gone but an eye, uh, someone told me that that translates into I don't have to try my best. Yeah, that's what I heard. That is... So I wonder if Renai is still Amazing. that. <laughs> yeah, it was like he was a troll because he would main a different character every two seconds back in Brawl. Yeah. Like, oh, change main, oh, change main, over and over again. Which I is, in Brawl, kind of weird because yeah, there were like weird. five really good characters. And he would never play a top tier. I feel like he's one of those um, guys that just want to do that. He's like, yeah. all right, I'm going to play Pikachu here. I'm going to play um, Snake. I'm going to play, I forgot what other character he won with. I think he did play Meta Knight for a little bit too, though. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> So props to Gambit and I, that's one thing I love about esports. It almost forces people to play. It's like, are you really going to sit there and go to work at 7-Eleven? Uh, or are you actually going to get your butt off the couch and beat the crap out of people <laughs> and win tournaments and get sponsored? What are you going to do? I feel like it, that's why I used to call him the Japanese Anti. And like that name used to stick around for a bit. Yeah. Anti would also sit there and go, you know what? I don't feel like going to a tournament getting third or second place and making like $120. Yeah. I'm going to sit at home and do nothing. But now it's like, hey, Anti, if you decide to get off the couch, I'll, I'll pay you thousands of dollars a month, right. fly you to tournaments, and get you hotels. He was literally forced to go to tournaments. <laughs> That's what it feels like. So props to these players for coming out here and showing their skills. Hopefully we get more players like a Tori to come out too and make an echo and Masha. All right, man. We're going to have one hell of a set here. Renai versus 9B, uh, or QB, sorry. But oh, yeah. yeah, QB does it all, man. He's a, he's a commentator, he's a TO, and now he's out here in top 32 of the hardest tournament of all time.
there's one funny thing about people that play all the time. Uh -huh. They usually don't play pretty aggressive. Um, so yeah. Renai and QB live very close to each other, and they actually stream often together. Really? Yeah, very often. They'll stream like for eight hours at a time. Um, oh wow! Like you know, during their time, like daytime to night. Yeah. So who uh, who usually comes out on top? Do you know? Um, so the thing is, before it used to be Renai back when QB main Ryu. Yeah. Then QB picked up. Uh, Bayonetta has been doing a lot better because, as everyone knows, Renai has a little bit of trouble against 599 characters. I see, I see. Besides Ryu. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, so far, you know, we're just seeing Renai play his game, shooting a lot of slingshots. But we did see that Renai, I believe, destroyed Sa Salem at Frostbite, but oh, then wow. he lost to Captain Zack. Uh, yeah, so maybe it's just it just depends on the playstyle of Bayonetta. Yeah, I agree with that. All right, so we have a lot of camping slingshots. Yeah, dude, Renai is not taking any chances with these uh, the Witch Twist combos. He's just sticking to his guns and shooting the shots. Ooh, nice. Oh. Should be able to get out. Oh, use the uh, jump side B. No, okay. Yeah, not going to be able to continue it because he uses his jump early. But a lot of damage there for QB. It's so hard to say QB when it says 9B. Yeah, I know. A lot of people in the chat sometimes go, wait, who's QB? It says 9B. Yeah. I don't even understand. Okay. Really oh, hard. that bowling ball is so scary. All right, man. <laughs> this is such a slower pace than the trail of shoe zone. It's so fast. I'm telling you, man, it's those type of um, people that play each other a lot. Yeah. They know what they're gonna do, so they decide to be campy and like run away. A little yeah, bit. I mean, they know. They basically know the other's tricks. Like yeah. every single one of them. They don't want to fall for any of them because they could lead to their deaths. So, yeah, Renai playing very, very uh, careful here on the ledge. He's, he's had a little bit of a deficit. Oh my that poor gosh, smash was that, greedy. That was actually a really good read, though, because. He uh, did the slingshot, held shield, so it's like he waited a little bit before doing it. And not a KO just yet. This is some beautiful edge pressure from Renai. Oh. Yeah, that was, oh, that was flawlessly executed. All of that was amazing. And it was a fully charged uh, S smash. Yep. Forward throw, not going to KO just yet. Going to use the bullet arts, though. And a crazy recovery. Super low. Freaking oh villager, gosh. man. Oh, wow. All that for nothing, dude. <laughs> Go as low as you possibly can just to get back here. Down throw too. No down tilt coming out. Good upbeat coming out. A lot of priority coming out from that move. He's able to sometimes swing it out when he could get close, but it's so hard to get close to Villager to get that even started. A lot of hopping around the slingshots. Yeah. Get him on the platform. Good choice. Really close game. I can't believe how slow and like methodical they're playing. They they really don't want to get hit by each other at all. There's a lot of respect between the two. You can tell. Yeah. This reminds me of uh, Salem versus Zero actually. I don't know what's happening. Everyone's going crazy over there. Captain Zach beat Mr. R? Did he dance? Oh no. Captain Zach just beat Mr. R on the other stream, I guess. I'm not too shocked to see that Captain Zach could beat Mr. R, but. I actually not at all. all. Yeah, because he did almost beat him at Genesis, but he had a couple of clubs. So. <gasps> oh wow. Oh, so close, but QB not able to finish it out there. And that was a that was a really big opportunity. But he did manage to, you know, equalize the percents. Down there? Oh yeah. Oh my god. Hits him with a triple turnip. And I have to be very safe how he uses the slingshots. Notice yeah. how he's not shooting any, but he gets really close to QB. He doesn't want to get witch time. Great Lloyd to cover himself, but actually QB works around it pretty well. Wow. I like how he shot the gyro just so he can stay in the air a little bit longer. Plants a tree because he knows he wants to go for that axe really soon. Damn. There it is. He actually just thought QB would run in, so he axed in the middle of nowhere. Again, really great coverage here for Renai as he, uh, as he recovers back to the stage. Got no axe right now, so QB does not have to fear that. Pretty much just has to fear back air and bowling ball. All right, might see him plant another tree if he can get enough space, but QB's waiting for him to try to plant the tree so he can approach. Yeah, QB is right there at the ready, ready to punish. Ooh. Oh, plant, water it, yep. And now it's axe time. <laughs> Random bowling ball. I guess that must be a thing by QB, just running in. Yeah. Because he keeps throwing out these, like, strong smash attacks to try to hit him. Axe. Oh, I thought we were going to see double jab to axe. Might have to plant a tree again? Yeah. And here it comes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he gets it up so fast. He knows it's his best kill option. This is the play style. QB's actually playing probably a lot more defensive than what Renai would expect. Yeah. Yeah, QB's throwing out, or um, Renai's throwing out a lot of moves that it looks like. I know you're going to run in here. I know you're going to run in here. Yeah. But uh, QB, you know, probably just changing it up from when they stream. There's no witch time coming out. Do they no, have like an agreement? <laughs> zero witch time. All right, yeah. Play, play, no witch time? It's like the chain grab rule in, uh, in Melee. Yeah. For Sheik's. 
Like, not even once. I, don't, I haven't seen no, him No, I haven't seen all. him throw it out once. Like, not even as a mix-up or a landing option, nothing. There's been no witch time. And maybe oh. that's just conditioning for later, because he knows when Renai's going to swing. Yeah. And he doesn't want to use a first game, you know? I'm just surprised. There's so many slingshots coming out. If he runs up, gets close enough, he can actually just witch time and yeah. be okay. Any of these short hops is pretty much going to be followed up by, uh, by a slingshot. So. Wow. His recovery against Renai is so good. Which oh time? my god. I feel a grab from Renai. Renai's been throwing out these slingshot moves so much that I just I feel like he's gonna back throw him. 18 seconds, dude. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that. Umbrella! <laughs> <laughs> we hadn't seen that move all game either. Renai right. popped off, dude. Yeah, he, did. he was super happy about that. You can tell they're good friends though, they're laughing it off, man. 15 seconds to go, Renai's gonna take game one. I had no idea that game was down to time already. Is that, Is that hugs? Oh yeah, Hugs did come here. He's they're like, Hugs is coming to Civil War. He might. I don't know if he went 02, but um, you know, maybe he took a game. Sam is been doing well at this tournament. Shout so. out to Hugs, man. Yeah, I did see him walking up over here. Happy to see some uh, melee players uh, yeah. in here showing some support for 2GG. Maybe they realize that uh, 2GG could do some awesome things for them. Yeah, <laughs> no, I know. Uh, to right now. <laughs> I know Champ was talking to Mango a while ago about doing some stuff for melee. So we'll see. Yeah, Big things in the works. Definitely, I can imagine. All right, man. So game two, that was a nail biter. This is going to be another one of those sets similar to, to when we saw Fallen vs. Earth, I think, where a lot of games are going to go close to the bell, going to go to time. Uh, it's going to be a long one, boys. Very long one. And? Wow, okay. They actually put quite a number of percent on themselves um, in the first 30 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, 48 percent. I mean, that's more than we saw in the first, like, two minutes of the last game. Yeah. So. <laughs> They're still going to, uh, it's pretty much just slingshot battles. All the projectiles yeah. Villager has only seen slingshot. Uh, it's it's kind of hard for Bayonetta to deal with because she has to really side B to get under it, and that's a big commitment. So uh, I agree with it a lot from Renai. But however, when QB gets an advantage, he seems to, to know what to do with it. Going really high, really high. Yeah. He's going to run out of balloons. No, it does not pump the balloon wow. one more time so he doesn't run out of his recovery. Oh, gosh. Great back air. Doesn't seal it out, though. Let's see how he recovers. Holy. That's just crazy. So oh, low. Oh, Good tech goodness. from Renai. <laughs> and he's back. Just like that. All right. QB's taking great advantage of Renai being off stage. Yeah. So he's probably looking for a back to throw him off again so he can do it again. Probably possibly get a lot of damage. That's Shot. pretty much why he has a lead. Yep. Not much of a lead, though, especially against Villager, man. With all this rage, he could kill with back air at the ledge. Um, maybe another Gosh. in there. Oh, I see. I like that. Air dodge in just in case yeah. he tries to throw out an attack. Yeah, I like that a lot. Did you see that throw attempt from Renai? Really yeah. wanted a back throw there at the ledge. Whoa, super low. Great tech into the pocket just in case he got hit right afterwards for invincibility. Renai is just so like <laughs> aware of what's happening in this game. This is a very offstage game right now. Jesus, dude. They actually don't care. Like, Renai. They don't care how you're supposed to play Smash. They just want to play it under the stage. Is that death? Oh my god, Renai, gosh. you're actually crazy. Renai is making up for all those other people that weren't teching. I yeah, seriously. That, yeah, Renai is actually recovering into the stage, so okay. when he gets hit, he'll be able to stage uh, or tech instead of just being hit away or off stage. All right, so QB going to turn it around this game and uh, take the first stock. Damn. Oh, that could have been it. Oh, <laughs> God, there's so – you can tell how much they play together. He's covering so many options. Wow, four throw instead of down throw. Especially the way QB is recovering, he's not getting hit by any of no. the edge guard attempts by Renai, which you see everybody else getting by. Yeah, I mean, it's so difficult. It feels impossible to come back against Villager sometimes because of all of the ledge traps, but QB, man, just, just wading through the storm. Place a tree. Okay. Some off stage with that back air. I don't know what he's going to do here at the ledge. Yeah, QB's likely not going to go off stage yeah. at um, these earlier percents. Won't do too much to Renai. Probably put Renai in a more advantageous position. Ooh. Ooh. Double, Ooh. Almost a double Yeah, grab. another double grab, but not working out there for Renai. Uh, frame data. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 9B. Really trying to make something work here. Uh, needs, to, needs to even up the set count. I know you don't want to go down 2-0 against Renai. I mean, winning three games against this dude just seems Annoying. so impossible. Yeah. <laughs> All right, keeps getting a slingshot, 50% now, 58%. I still have yet to see a witch time. No witch time yet. What is going on? I don't on? think he has a down B button. Oh, like, no. I think yeah, maybe his controller is broken and he yeah. can't press down. Let's see if he even ducks. Yeah, he, he is. Okay, he, he can pass. All right, all right, all right. So he's just too good, man. He doesn't need it. The Bayo that didn't witch time. The untold story. I almost want to ask, like, if QB loses, I want to ask him, 
hey, why didn't you witch time? But I don't want to be, uh, you know what they call that, yeah, gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, wow, you just lost. Dude, why didn't you laser? Get out my Ask face. him if he wins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Off wow. the top. Uh, he didn't even up air. He, yeah. just, he actually just killed him with up B, which means that Renai was smash DIing up. Yep. And he smashed the eye all the way to the blast zone. Wow. So good stuff to QB seeing through that and recognizing uh, Renai's DI. Yep. 1-1 one, one here. Uh, I believe that the loser of this gets 17th. Not quite sure. Um, yeah. Loser will go home at 17th place. Oh, wow. So which is pretty enough. low for either of them. Yeah, definitely very low. And it looks like they're going back to Smash I did see when they play in Japan a lot on the stream that most of the games are on Smashville. So we might see the whole set here. Yeah. They both are confident in this uh, stage. Wow, he actually used a side B too. That's something we're not seeing at all either. It's like yeah. it's like Renai shuts down QB's options. And we must keep in mind that QB's been doing extremely good again, almost looking like the QB from the Brawl. I think he won a tournament the other day. Uh, Might have oh, really? been, uh, I don't know if it was the Wednesday tournament. Oh yeah, he won Wednesday Night Fights. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. And there's a lot of good players there. Yeah, it was, top eight was all Japan. <laughs> Oh, wow. He delayed the last hit to try to knock him off the side. But yeah, I really don't actually know why he's not going for like witch times. Uh, I think it's just because he feels like if he misses, he's going to get punished so hard. Um, yeah. And he just doesn't want to take the risk because he knows how, how well Night Beat or how well Renai can punish it. All right, nice back throw. Almost actually gets a KO from that. Yeah. Oh, that. Nope, not going to do it. Really good recovery there from QB. And he retreats back to the ledge. That was so tricky. Oh, he actually cut the tree the other way for some reason. Yeah, interesting. Uh, maybe trying to get a roll get up. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I think it was a mix. Yeah, it could be that or uh, mix up too. Interesting. All right. QB kind of on the back foot here. He's, he's you know, one solid hit away from losing this first stock here in game three. Uh, Renai just playing his game, man. Kind of hiding behind his tree. Does the double jab to Axe, but it's not a true combo with that percent. I want to know. Oh, he's, he's fine. He did, he, <laughs> I, again. Just, I just know he knows. He yeah. knows. It's like, yeah, he's going to bowling ball, just recover really in close to the stage, not get hit by anything. Once again, wow, he said beating out. Um, I just, yeah. yeah, still thinking about that one. <laughs> yeah. And I love how whenever he plants a tree, uh, QB's always right next to the tree. Yep. It's like he knows the exact uh, frame where you get hit. Uh, you know, he knows, where to, he knows how to hold this game. Yeah, there are some spacing mechanics in this game that I think a lot of players don't still quite understand, and that's that's a big one, especially around Villager. You don't want to just like give him the entire stage because you're afraid of the tree. Yeah. You want to be able to still threaten him. QB man on his last stock already, 61%, not looking good. Wow. Uh, yeah, hasn't taken anything off Renai. Renai's looking very comfortable. Still not even one witch time. Nope. Besides the charge of bowling wall, hoping that QB will stay on the ledge long, because QB actually likes to drop down off the ledge and do yeah. an up B to avoid um, the ledge options that I'm, I'm, for. I'm still thinking that he's just saving witch time for like game five scenarios because maybe Renai won't expect it if he hasn't used it at all. That is a good choice. Uh, but I, I would, you know, if he loses this game, I would definitely use a game four. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> he needs something. And Axe. Looks like he's looking for the Axe, possibly looking for a double jab into Axe. I Ooh. love the way he combos Renai. Oh yeah, my gosh. but yeah, Renai recognizing that you're gonna land with a lot of end lag if you do all those witch twists and uh, and afterburner kicks. So, uh, so Renai is currently one game away from possibly evening up the set count of them over the last year and a half. Oh uh, wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, because Renai is currently down, I think one two with uh, QB being up to one at okay. least at the bigger tournaments. I'm not too sure if they count the locals because they do live close to each other, so I wouldn't be surprised if they play with each other a lot. Right. I'm also pumped to see Renai here because I know he works a lot, so he has trouble coming out to events. Yeah, Yeah. when we first uh, announced Civil War, actually, um, I think it was... They just, they just told us he wasn't going to be able to come because of work, so it, yeah. it's really cool to see him here. And we're s playing a staring contest. Oh, oh my god. god. All right, we're good, we're good. <laughs> wow, good stuff. All right. Oh my goodness. So yeah, if ever there was a time to use Witch Time, it, it would be game four, I think. Yeah. Uh, when you're down, you, I think you really got to show your hand at this point. I wonder if there's like a gentleman's agreement or something. I don't know, dude. It's really That'd be a wonder. dumb gentleman's agreement for QB to make. Yeah. <laughs> you don't Witch Time, I don't. Um, <laughs> I lose. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, that's not fair at all. <laughs> wow, I roll coming out from QB. Right. No slingshots. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, I was about to say, Renai is uh, playing a lot different now. Maybe he knows that, that okay, 
time. So, I mean, the ultimate read would be Renai seeing he has not thrown Witch Time a single damn time in this entire entire set, right? So yeah. maybe he's looking for it this game, so I'm not going to throw as many hitboxes. Yeah, maybe he could have been trying to condition Renai to not expect Witch Time. Exactly. I think Renai could just be, be aggressive, but Renai's not being aggressive at all. He's still no. using a slingshot. Yeah, he's, I think he saw right through it, honestly. Back air? Ooh, yeah, looking for something there, but uh, Renai doesn't really flinch, so. Nice. I love, Villager actually seems like he deals with uh, Bayo so well, because a lot of characters, if you get hit by Afterburner Kicks and Witch Twists, like, you know, she lands with more ending lag the more of those she uses. Yeah. So, but a lot of characters actually can't get down in time in order to punish her, or they're too far away, but with Villager you can just throw a slingshot or, like, drop down with your turnips. It always seems like Villager can punish Bayo for, for mistakes. Which I feel like is pretty rare. Because Bayo, it just seems like she's allowed to make a lot of mistakes and get oh, away with it. Just fly all over the screen, similar yeah. to Diddy Kong. But you don't see too much flying. It's a lot of QB trying to catch Renai. Yeah, uh, he's yeah he's playing uh, very cautious. He, he knows how good Renai is at this matchup. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he should go to the other side. I was about to say, yeah, it's a little too dangerous over there. Back air? Wow. Takes nice it though. Back. All right, QB. One stock away from taking it to a game five. All right, QB's playing very patient still. Just trying to read through Renai. Renai. Oh, oh my gosh, he's so good oh. at avoiding his edge guards. Yeah. I never see anybody else avoid that. They always get hit. Oh, bowling ball? Oh, I like bowling, bowling. <laughs> and they just jump right into it, but. Lanes? <laughs> well, right now it looks like uh, QB. Oh. oh, read the DI, right? Oh my god, yeah, he read that DI perfectly. Could have sealed it out if he would have landed that up air, but no such luck. Oh my gosh, so low. Okay, oh. there we go. Finally hits one of those bowling balls and evens up the stock count. 36% down is not too bad, and uh, he's pretty much you know, made up half of it already. Oh. There's an IB's chance, though. QB, sorry. Damn, is he actually going to take him off the top of Puppy wow. again? Oh, he my He actually God. did it. The man actually took him to game five. Oh, man. Oh, what a set. Okay, man. Last game. One of these Japanese players going home with 17th place. It's a really long set. QB, Renai. It's so unfortunate they have to play each other since they're, like, best of friends. Yeah. I'm sure they'll be happy, you know, they'll be they'll be upset that they've lost, of course, but they'll be happy to cheer on their, their friend. Oh, yeah, the like, no champion. matter what, one of them moves ahead. Yeah, because so. it's not like, you know, it can't be helped, right? Yeah. We didn't do this on purpose or anything. Or did we? It's not our fault. It's not our fault Japan absolutely blew us out of the water yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it is, but okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, 0% starting off. No slingshots. It looks like Renai is always looking for the grab to down tilt to Umbrella. Yeah, it seems like a very good, like, staple beginning combo. And the grab at low percents, obviously, is not very risky because he's not going to eat that big of a punish. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a little more risky in higher percents where the end lag could really get you killed. Nice forward air. Wow, played it really safe. It's almost like he knew he was going to uh, kick that way. Still looking for slingshots. Slingshot. Yeah. What are Renai's gonna do next? Slingshot. What, okay. what are we gonna do next? For slingshot. <laughs> so I think the story of the set, right, is will we see which time? That's like, that's the biggest thing. Even in game four, he did not throw it out one single time. That is so, wild. I don't get it. Yeah. This this is the game where I really feel like he should throw which time. He actually killed him, right? Yeah. He popped both balloons, but uh, but he had to hit him again in order to recover. Oh yeah, true, true. That was unfortunate. Wow, he keeps reading uh -oh. Renai's uh -oh. DI. Renai keeps DIing upwards. Dude, maybe he doesn't need Witch Time. <laughs> yeah, he, I feel like he doesn't. But it'll be funny if he plays someone. If let's say if QB wins, he plays someone else yeah. like, right off the beginning. Just so close, yeah. immediate. Like what? Yeah, it might just be a Renai thing, man. He might just be too afraid to use it. But I just Witch Time isn't even that committal, you know? Yeah. Like it doesn't have that much end lag. I feel like he's gonna do it on the last stock. That's just my predict my prediction. He's actually just saving it for his very last trump card. Well, a uh, funny story about QB. I had a, I held a national in like Skatar three or so uh -huh. uh, a couple years ago, and QB won the tournament. After he won, I gave him his prize money, and he said, "I don't want it. I'm gonna give it to the players." I'm like what? You gonna give everyone a dollar? I was so confused. So he's a very gentleman type of person. Wow. Extremely, extremely nice. He did not want to win his tournament. It wasn't that much back. It, it was brawl, so like yeah, yeah. thirty dollars. But he really wanted to give it to everyone else. Damn, that edge guard was phenomenal. So I wouldn't be surprised if he decided not to win time just for Renai, but that's going to be KO itself. Wow, Renai striking right back, and we are at game five. Last stock. <sighs> All right, fresh stocks for both of these players. I'm just happy they're not timing out each other. Get they really aren't. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're playing the game. They're playing. All right. Neither of them want to move, man. They know how important this is now. They're, they're a lot uh, less aggressive here for this final stock. It's going to be a slow one. Still not timing each other out. They're just 
if there's a difference between running away and trying to time someone out and playing not to get hit and really trying to just like keep your advantage because like these two obviously just realize that both of their punish games are insane so they don't want to make a mistake Oh, well, Renai going actually a little aggressive now. This yeah. time he's running into neutral air. Still no witch times, man. I'm calling. I'm calling it. He's gonna do it at the very unless he doesn't oh, need it to. Over. It might be over. Oh, Renai living on battlefield. Who counter? Yeah, Renai yeah. counterpicked this. So yeah, it's working out. Uh oh, it's crazy that Renai's getting caught by all these um upbeat combos actually. Yeah. Considering how much he plays Bayonetta, or plays against Bayonetta. Right. All right, man. Still no witch time. I'm so blown away. QB beats Renai without a single wish time. That's actually pretty insane. Yeah, that's pretty insane. Like, not. I'm, I'm not just saying wish times connected. I mean wish times thrown out. Thrown he out. never even threatened the idea that he was gonna wish time him. Nice combo. Uh oh. Yeah, oh yeah, it gets it interrupted jumps. there. Okay, it's gonna be a forward throw to get some stage control and a big edge guard opportunity for 9B. He's been so good at keeping him at the ledge. See how he recovers. Good stuff getting the gyroid to hit. He's going to need to take out the tree pretty soon. He can't Ooh. keep approaching like this. 71%. This is perfect. This is getting so close. But will QB even give him any space so he can plant the tree? And this might be it. Nope. Five, four, three, oh. two. Oh. Oh. Yep. I, was calling, I was calling witch time, but <laughs> I, <laughs> I was really, wrong. I really do think there's a gentleman's agreement. <laughs> I do no too, dude. I, I really want to ask him. I think I'm going to ask him when he, when he walks off the stage. Oh. But Let's watch triple turn up. Oh, this is so close plant. now. Here it is. The yeah. tree. The tree. Can this axe do it? Oh gosh, he gets he unfair. He can do the axe. Bowling yeah. ball, but it's not actually. He doesn't get it out in time. Oh my god! Bats within. I don't even know what in the world that was. He did a dash attack. Tech, Got a tech. Tech again? Oh! oh, he misses the second tech and oh Renai. Oh, Renai runs oh. away, dude. Renai's oh. over it. He actually ran away. Wait, why did he run? What just happened? Why did he run? I don't know. What just happened? Maybe that's a thing. He literally ran away to over there. So like, oh my gosh, good stuff to QB. Wow. All right, so set. QB, man, what a great set between these two. You can tell they play all the time. That was perfectly even throughout the entire match. That was great to watch. Wow. I, I just. Whew. It's like.